will. And yes, it's a briefcase. I'm still at a normal, terrifying, comprehensive, because my mum hasn't scraped enough money together to send me back to my old, private, and let's face it, better school. However, I have made friends here, and in some ways, this term will be better than the last. And in many other ways, a lot, lot worse. But before all that, my first hurdle of the new term involved a freezing cold day in January, a coach, and Jay calling me a bender. Morning, benders. All right. This is it. The Swanage field trip is legendary for carnage. It's the only reason I chose geography. Seems like a flimsy reason. Unspecified carnage. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing that won't be flimsy. My cock. There's this sexy housewife down there, and every year she fucks one bloke from our school. How can you possibly know that? My mate went last year and he banged her. He said that she was the best he'd ever had. A right, fit, mature bird that does it because she loves young meat. Oh, bollocks. For one thing, you don't even have a mate in year 13. Yeah, I do. Chris Groves. Never heard of him. Well, he's not going to hang out with a twat like you, is he? So let me get this straight. Your imaginary friend fucked an imaginary older woman in Swanage, so you decided to do geography A-level. Good plan. We should try and have a laugh down there, though. Do something different. We could go on a boat trip. I checked online, they hire boats from the harbour. The internet really is wasted on you. No, I don't know. We should, like, try and get off with the local girls or get some booze in or something. Everything was shit out here by the seaside. Yeah, can't wait. We could let off a load of fireworks in our room. Could do. Might be a bit pointless. Neil, what are you doing? Getting on a coach. But you don't do geography or sociology. I know that. So what are you doing getting on the coach to the Geography and Sociology field trip? Oh, well, Jay was going on about how mental it all was and I really, really wanted to go. So I asked Mr Kennedy if I could come down and help him out. Pedo Kennedy? He said yes, presumably. He did, actually. Who's Pedo Kennedy? Geography teacher and Pedo. I don't believe the school would actually employ a paedophile. They have done. The thing is, they haven't, have they? He was caught in the music cupboard wanking over the school orchestra. When? Before we started. Convenient. What's he asked you to do, Neil? He's got to collect a load of samples down there. What, of your spunk? Collected in his mouth. And hair. Behave. So even though Neil was now suspected pedo's plaything, we boarded the coach with high hopes. It might have been a new term and a new year, but some things never change. Still going well with Carly, then, is it? Shut up. Here he is. Oh, watch out, Neil. Oh, don't do that. Oh, thumbs up, friend. Oh, we had all did a friend. Friend. Oh, spunk samples, friend! Why did he have to do the thumbs up? Because that's what will be going up your arse first. Going up your arse first. <laughs> but in all the excitement, we've forgotten the first rule of coach travel. Hard kids at the back. Oh, oh, I'm off. No, stay! There's no reason for us to move and we're not moving! Move. Why should we move? Do you want me to give you a reason? But I'm not leaving without one. I don't think you understand. I don't think that you understand that we got up early to secure these seats and there's no reason you'll find the point. Fuck, where are we going to sit now? What is going on? Will you not sit down? My seat's been taken, sir. There's nowhere left. Yes, there is. There's loads at the front. Sit next to John. I'm not sitting next to John. His fat takes up two seats. I've got feelings too, you know. Fine. You're sitting next to me. Oh, what? Well, it's me or Mr Kennedy. Now, come on, hurry up. And Mackenzie, sit down. Hello. Hi. Um... Who are you? I'm Lauren Harris. I'm new. Hi, I'm Will McKenzie. Scary being new, isn't it? It's a bit. The way the kids all threaten to beat you up and call your names like briefcase wanker. Oh, it's not been like that. No, it wasn't for me either. I was more used to field trips to places like the Alps or Barcelona than shitty English seaside towns. But as we headed to Swanage, there was definitely a sense of excitement, a feeling that anything could happen for the first couple of hours. Then it became just another incredibly tedious coach journey. Don't even think about trying to talk to me. Wait, who wants to swap seats? No, you're all right. Oh, God, it's so boring up there. Wait a minute, who's SpongeBob She's pants talking to? Oh, she's fit. Yeah, she is. Yeah, it is to get her attention. Oh, Neil, don't be embarrassing. All right. Everyone, watch this. What's going on? Neil's just being silly. Is he doing that horn thing? That's really funny. Yeah, no, yeah, really funny, silly, isn't it? Silly in a funny way. Do it again, Neil. Yeah, do it again, Neil. <laughs> hey! Here, if you like that, I've got a good one. <laughs> what? I loved it! 
Cartwright, sit down. So far, the only unspecified carnage we had witnessed was what Big John had left in the coach toilet. But Jay wasn't giving up on finding his mythical seaside milf. So where do you think this nymph hangs out then? Not sure. High Street, maybe? Or down by the ice cream stall on the front? Apparently, right, she comes up to you and asks for a lick of your cornetto. It means she's offering a cock in mouth situation. It's like a code. Brilliant. Oh, well, a bit embarrassing, but do you mind if I sit with you at lunch? You know, because I've got no mates and all that. God, uh, no problem at all. You can sit on my lap if you like. <laughs> no, thank you. I thought you should know that that thing you did in the bus was really sad and pathetic and not funny. I'll see you later. Frigid. <laughs> Looks like you won't be getting off with Lauren then. Who okay, cares? She's just a little girl. Think I'm down here for girls, mate. Get enough of them back at home. No, I come down here for a woman. She is fit though. What? Lauren's fit, isn't she? I saw her first. What? I only said she was fit. Hi, guys. Hi. Here, sit down here. Oh, uh, I'm just off actually. Oh no, don't leave my kite. Oh no, it's not that. It's just I've got to go see a man about a dog. Then a woman about a pussy. <laughs> I do know what that means. Right. You coming, Neil? Yeah. I'm Simon, by the way. Hi, Simon. Sorry about those two. It's all right. I've got a younger brother, so I'm used to it. Well, actually, he's eight, so he's a bit more mature-like, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Feisty one, you are! What? Feisty one, you are! Why are you talking like that? It was Yoda. From Star Wars. It's the same impression I was doing on the coach for about an hour. Oh, was that what that was? Oh, good. I thought you might, you know, have a problem. <laughs> no. Or Asperger's, maybe? Wrong again. Have you ever been tested for anything? Good one. Oh, I was going to ask, would one of you two do the survey with me? You know, because I've got no mates and all that. I will. Oh, really? Yep. I don't think you can, actually. Why not? Yeah, why not? Um, maybe because of what I mentioned earlier? Jay fucking an old woman. Oh, ladies present. No, um, the other thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, Will, Lauren doesn't know anyone. Don't be a dick. I'm not being a dick, Simon. I'm just saying, who am I going to do my survey with? Oh, no. Mr Gilbert says I'm to pair up with you because I'm not very good with directions and I might get lost. Right! Could I borrow your forms? I spilled ketchup on mine. So Simon got to hang out with lovely <laughs> Lauren while I had to stop a fat kid from wandering into the sea. Meanwhile, Jay was searching for that rarest of beasts, a sexy middle-aged woman. Hurry up, Jay. I've got to get back to work Kennedy out in 15 minutes. All right, I'll try this one. Excuse me? Yes? Um, we're doing a survey for school. Can I ask you a few questions? Could it take long? It can take as long as you like. Sorry? Nah. Uh, first question. What form of transport did you take into town today? I drove. Drove. And how often do you use public transport? Rarely. And do you wear, like, stockings and that? Is this about transport? It's just the questions written down. Uh, one last one. Ooh. Right. Oh, hello. Where's Lauren? Oh, she wants to get a drink. She's nice, isn't she? I thought you were only interested in Carly. Oh, well, sort of, but Lauren's all right, you know. Easy to talk to. Did you mention me at all? No. Right. She said she thought I was really good looking. Oh, I was not expecting that. This is a bit weird, because I really like her, but I think she might like you. Right, well, if you think she fancies me, then I should probably go for it. Perhaps, except I'm saying that I like her. I should go for it, though. Any thoughts on the me liking her part? Um, no, sure, good point. But she is fit, so you can see my problem. Not really. Yeah, but you know how it is. How? How is it? You know. Look, why don't we just see what happens later back at the dorm? She might not be interested in either of us. I suppose that's true. Let's just wait and see. And no hard feelings if she goes with me. Oh, I'm not worried about that. All right. Found that info yet? Not yet. Surprisingly. Where have you been now? Me and Kennedy went down to the beach and then went swimming. Sorry? Swimming? Yeah. Just the two of you? Yeah. Pedo Kennedy took your skinny dippy. No. You gave me a spare pair of trunks. What, speedos? They were, actually. <laughs> I'm beginning to see what he gets out of this arrangement, Neil, but what's in it for you? Bish, he got me it from the offie. Nice. Cool. Shit. Now here comes some carnage. You said don't tell Gilbert, though. Don't tell him about the inappropriate swimming or about the planned sexual assault when you're drunk. Both. This is brilliant. 
We can all get well pissed. Although technically it does mean we're now pimping Neil out. I'm cool with that. Me too. Shit. Hide it! Simon, Will, it's Lauren. Are you guys in there? All right. Hey, there's a lot of noise down the hall. It sounds like a party. Do you fancy it? Party? Hmm. Cool that sounds. You know you're never ever going to get laid. Jay was wrong. Statistically, there's a good chance I would get laid. Eventually. So we had the booze and the girls. Well, a girl. Now all we needed to get this party started was a party. <laughs> what? We're here for the party? It's that posh little prick. Ask him he's got any pictures of his mum. He's got a bottle of vodka. Here they are. Team twat. What's that you brought for me? Well, it's Neil's vodka. We thought we could maybe come in and join the party. Thank you, wankers. <laughs> well, that went well. Um, so I reckon the party's probably over for us then? We could do something else. Pool? Table tennis? I think I saw the ball game risk downstairs. Fuck that for a laugh. I'm gonna go find that yummy mummy who wants me to spunk on her tummy. A rapey rhyme. How lovely. Yeah, come on, let's bunk it. Um, I think I'm gonna call it a night, guys. Maybe see you at breakfast. Do you want to walk me back to my dorm, maybe? My pleasure. Oh, um, I meant Simon. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Great. We'll both walk you back, then. I'll see you tomorrow, then, Will. Definitely. See you tomorrow. Simon, can I speak to you before you head back? Yeah, of course. Good night, then, Will. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll wait for Sai. You can say anything you want in front of me. We're mates. Okay. Simon, do you fancy hanging out tomorrow, maybe, in the free time? Just the two of us? Bit rude. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. I'd love to do that. Cool. Meet you by the harbour after lunch. By the sea? That's where they tend to position them, Sai. Makes it easier for the boats. Good night, then, Will. Yeah, whatever. Good night, Simon. Yeah, good night. Let's get going. It's been so nice meeting you, Simon. Oh, I know. I mean, I feel the same. Oh, getting late now, Si. Off we go. Si. Come on now, mate. Right. See you back at the dorm then. I'll leave a knife right by my bed. Just pop it in my back later, mate. Right between the shoulder blades. Night then, Lauren. So Simon got a hug. A hug, not sex. But from the way he went on about it, you'd think she'd sucked his foreskin or something. Can you believe it? I think she really likes me. Yeah, I think it's time to get some sleep now, Simon. Funny that she... Hello. It's only me, boys. Just uh, on my way to bed. Thought I'd check how you are. Ooh, swimming's tiring. Your legs tired? I think they're okay. Yes. Quick massage before bedtime. Ah, tired legs. Oh. Come on, John. Oh. Rub down. Um, the shift of lactic acid. Not now, John. Oh. Was that a dream, or did that just happen? That was your wet dream. No, it wasn't. He rubbed my legs. Well, that's what you get for leading on pedos, you slut. Shouldn't we report him? Well, he did get a set of vodka. That's called grooming, Neil. Is it? Yes. Oh. Good night. Neil didn't seem too emotionally scarred by the night's events. Unlike me. You are all right with me seeing Lauren later, aren't you? Yeah, of course. She's pretty cool, actually. Is she? Fuck off! You don't pay the eye, Neil Sticks! Um, are you sure you're all right with it? Hi, Simon. Hello. How not see you at all this trip. Where have you been? Um, just here. What are you doing this afternoon? Nothing. Is that correct? Yes. I'm sure you've got something on this afternoon. I don't think so. Because it's a free time later, and as you haven't hung out in ages, I thought, like, why don't I see what Simon's doing? Did you? Yeah. That's a real shame, Carly, because Simon's hanging out with... Is it Lauren this afternoon? Oh, right. Is that the new girl? I saw you talking to her. Did you? Yeah. So Simon can't come because he's got a date. 
Are you going on a date with her, Simon? No, not a date, just hanging. Sorry, Simon, I didn't realise it was a date thing. No, listen to me, it's not a date. It can't be a date because anyone's welcome. Me, you, Lauren, who may or may not be coming. She's definitely coming. She might not, and I don't care either way if she does. Carly, it'd be great to hang out with you this afternoon. Um, see you down the front at three. See you later, then. Well, thanks for nearly fucking that up for me, mate. I just don't want things to get confusing. You can't meet up with both of them, can you? Shit, I don't know. I can't cancel Lauren, can I? Look, Carly means something to you. You should go out with her. I'll sort Lauren out. Yeah, yeah, that's the right thing to do, isn't it? Will you talk to Lauren, then? Of course. I'll let her down gently for you, mate. He's going out with somebody else and he couldn't tell you to your face. He's a twat. So I said I'd do it because I think you deserve an explanation. Oh. OK. Well, that's a shame. Thanks, Paul. Look, I've hired a boat this afternoon. Why don't you come out on it with me? I'm not sure. Oh, go on. Please? All right, then. Great. They hired the boat and sat down by the quay. Oh, and if you see Simon, best not to mention I said he was a twat. See you later, then. Meanwhile, Jay was still on the hunt for his sex-starved ice cream lady. I don't know, she looks too old. Look, we've been here two days and she's the first bird we've seen hanging out here. She looks like she's only got one leg. She's probably just got an old face. Must be because of all the jizz she's had on it. I bet her body's still pretty fit. Thought I'd find you here. How's the sex search going? Jay thinks it's her. <laughs> you must be joking, she's ancient. No, if she put on a bit of fake tan and slipped into some sexy undies, I'd definitely give it a go. It must be her. I've given everyone else the eye. She looks like she could give you her actual eye. <laughs> this is it. It's now or never. Guess the 99, Jay. What can I get you? Cornetto, please. One Cornetto. Is that all? Do you want to lick it? Sorry? My Cornetto, do you want to lick it? Oh, that is kind. I've had enough ice cream today, though, sweetheart. Oh, right. A bit late, am I? Do you want something else? Are you the woman who sucks schoolboys off? Sorry? Can you suck me off? So it looked like Jay's search for a nympho had hit a brick wall. So that's not her, then? No. A very old and confused brick wall. Yes, a date with Carly. You have no idea how long I've waited for this. We well, yeah, have. You never shut up about her. Oh my God! What does he look like? Aye, oh, aye. Permission to come aboard, Captain Cockwash. Permission denied. I'm leaving in a minute. You're going to go on a boat trip on your own? That's tragic. I'm not going on my own, actually. Who are you going with, then? Lauren. What? After you told me to not see her. I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. You said I should choose Carly instead. Only because she's the one you want to be with. Yeah, and you want to be with Lauren. So you scared me off. No, not at all. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. Let's have a go, then. No. Nope. Yeah, come on, don't be a dick. No. Oh, go on, I love boats. I used to go fishing with my dad. Fisting? Fishing. Oh, come on, Will. Just take us up to the sea. As you stitch me up. No, she's going to be here in 15 minutes. Oh, I get it. He's scared. I'm not, actually, and that incredibly childish attempt at reverse psychology will not work. All right, so it did work. And it was quite good fun, actually. Even the locals seemed pleased to see us. Ahoy, hoy! For about ten seconds, anyway. Brilliant. Well, that was great. Let's head back, then. What? You said we could go out to the sea. Well, we can't. And put your life jacket on. The sea can be a cruel mistress. Oh, what's this? Is this the sail? It's a fishing line. Give it here. Neil, do not throw... What happens now? Nothing. You've got to put bait on it. Please don't muck around. There's a £150 deposit on this boat. Oh, cool, the sea! Let's get out of there. Oh no! Sorry, Simon! Holy fucking shit, that's cold! Be out, Neil! <laughs> Why did you do that? Was it because of Lauren? No! <laughs> God no! It was an accident! <laughs> you total bellend! <sighs> oh. <laughs>
I thought we were friends. I'm sorry. Shit, we better head straight back in. Enjoy your swim. What? I'm really cold. Like, to my bones. He's gonna get hypothermia unless we get him out of those wet clothes. Neil, undress him. Oh, knew it. What? You've been waiting for this. I knew you were bent for him. It's basic first aid. I was in the Scouts when we did this. Yeah, I bet that's not all you did in the Scouts. No, you're right. We did not, too. I'm cold. Could someone get me some hair gel? Oh, don't take his pants off, Neil. You're not your dad. He has to. It's the safest way. Put that coat round him, Neil. I'll get the engine started. Don't worry. I'll cover him up. Oh, fuck. Why would this start? Jay, get that line in. All right, all right. Don't shit yourself. This happened. I think it's caught on something. It must be caught around the engine. Can I huddle up to someone, please? I'm really cold. Is anyone else really cold? Like, really cold. <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ! Oh, my. What the hell has that happened? I don't know. It didn't have any bait on it. Get it out! It's all right. It's just a fish. It's a fucking terrifying massive fish, Neil. Get rid of it. Oh, God, it's shit itself. It's all right. Oh, fuck that. We're in serious trouble here. What? Oh, what? That's only for emergencies. For emergencies! Oh my gosh, that looks warm. Why the fuck did you do that? To get the sea police out? And say what? Help, we've caught a fish and we're already in the harbour. What are they going to do? Tow us four feet closer to the shore? What if it's a shark? It's not a shark, Jay. Oh, get it out, Neil. You better kill it. It's the kindest thing to do. It won't survive back in the sea now. Well, that was a much more dignified end for him. You just punched a fish to death. Now we can take it back and eat it. I'm not eating that. It's coming out the fucking sea. I'm cold. Mummy, can you get the pot in? Stay with us, Simon. We'll get you help. Oh, fuck. Fuck it! Are you OK, Will? Fine, thanks. We'll be back for you in a minute. Do you know you're starting to flare up? Yup. Thanks, Lauren. Won't be a minute. Is that a fish? Yes, Lauren. It's a fucking fish. Give me a minute. Are we going to have to swim back? It's very cold in there. We'll just row back. On holiday in Spain one year, me and my mate took a pedlo out and we went to Africa. Do you think you could spare us the bullshit for one minute while I try to figure out how not to die at sea? Oh, Carly's there. Look. Hi, Carly. Oh, Neil, you put a sock on it. Is it a bit drafty? He's in trouble. We have to huddle around him till the lifeboat gets here, and then we have to explain that we called them away from their proper jobs because we caught a fish. Come here, mate. Oh, I can see he's helping. Oh, if anything, I'm colder than before. Well, huddle in closer then. No one better find out about this. What? Apart from everyone over there? <laughs> now we just wait for the sea police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried this might look a bit weird. No, it's totally fine. We just all went out for a boat ride about 20 minutes ago. Now we've been dragged back to shore. The boat's covered in fish brains and you're totally naked. And Carly and Lauren are going to think this is pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. The definition of a field trip is an educational journey allowing students to observe events outside their usual experience. And so in that sense, Swanage was a complete success. We observed my brilliant Star Wars impression. Feisty one, you are. Jay getting slapped, Neil punching a fish, and Simon's penis in a sock. And after all that observation, we had learnt one thing. Turns out Mr Kennedy is a paedophile. It's all right, sir. I didn't even get wet, John. But at least some good came of it. Lauren had to move away shortly afterwards, and Simon never saw her again. Swimming, 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 swimming. Just stay in your lanes. Swimming, 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 swimming.